Okay. Ooh, it's in the vault. Trinky one. Okay, so we got some more trinkies being designed. Um, so this one was a request from Bill Bingo at AT Makers. Um, so this is a TRS Trinky. And um, the thing that uh, he wanted was basically a USB adapter that would connect to a TRS 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but did not have one pin connected to ground or power. It's like every pad on the on the audio connector was a GPI or analog input because this connector format is used for different accessibility tools and they have different pinouts. And so you want to be able to like dynamically decide based on the code, which is the input pin, which is the output pin, which one's grounded, which one's power. Um, so I just, uh, it's got a SAMD21 and a NeoPixel. And then, um, you know, every pin on that uh, TRS plus the two switches, again, goes to different GPIO and then you can read them all. And then to make it mechanically stable, it's got a USB-A through hole connector. Um, and then we're looking at this like cool Windows 10 HID um, RGB LED array like protocol that they've come up with. And we're like, oh, that's it's basically like NeoPixels. Uh, so it'd be cool to have like a, a USB HID to NeoPixel converter. So it's a little pixel trinky um, that you could use also with, you know, Python or, you know, you can program in Arduino. It could be standalone running. Um, and it just gets five volts. There's a little level shifter and it can control two strands of dot stars, two strands of NeoPixels or one strand of dot stars because those use two pins. And the SAMD21, like, you know, you think of it as a small chip, but it's got 32K of RAM. In Arduino, you can drive like 10,000 LEDs if you wanted to. Uh, so maybe we'll make a little USB um, interface code so you can like write pixel data from any application and we'll just like pipe it out um, very easily. And then finally, a lot of people are like, hey, can you make some of these trinkies in USB-C? Um, but I'd have to find a plug that's USB-C, like that's a USB-C plug and also mechanically stable like the USB-A plug. So I kind of made a breakout, um, hopefully this connector that we found on the great search last week. So watch that video um, will work and it'll be mechanically stable and uh, uh, we'll be able to use it to make some USB-C trinkies. That's top secret. Yeah. It is.